Hi, my name is Dion. I'm one of the ungulate keepers here at Auckland Zoo. And today I'm going to be showing you how we feed the zebra. We're feeding the zebra hay. They also do get a pellet selection. So within those pellets is a bunch of different types of nutrition and they get that for their breakfast. And then three times a week, our lovely volunteers do provide us with some fresh cuttings of grass. So I'm just going to be finishing putting this hay net together and then we can go out and feed the zebra. So we're hanging all the hay nets. The reason that we put it inside these nets is to keep it actually off the ground. If you can see behind me, our whole paddock is actually covered in sand. So we don't want them ingesting the sand itself. So that's why we put it in the actual nets. This is a mixed species habitat. So if you can see behind me, this is what we call a feeder tree. It's just to make sure that we do have different heights because giraffe are browsers. So that means they eat in the treetops, whereas zebras are grazers. So they eat lower to the ground or actually off the ground itself. We do have extra pulleys in order to lower them throughout the day as well. And that way they don't sort of intermingle with each other's food. However, in this particular habitat, our giraffe can be slightly sneaky. Um, and when they run out of food up here, that's when they start actually digging into the hay nets. So they will have a little poke around, but the zebras are actually quite great and that they will actually chase the giraffe off so they can have their own food. These zebras are plain zebras. So there are three different main species of zebras. So we have grevies, which being the largest, and then you do have plains and mountain zebras. We get a lot of questions regarding what zebras are more closely related to. So zebras are part of the equid family. They do have horse-like appearances, but they're more closely related to donkeys. Scientifically proven, zebras are black. Uh, with white hair follicles. So that's a lack of melanin inside the actual hair itself, and that will produce these white stripes. You might think they'd all look exactly the same. They don't, to a zebra. So the stripes are actually individualized, so they're just like we all have different fingerprints, zebras have all different stripes. It may not look like it, but to another zebra, for example, from the same family, those stripes help them to recognize each other. Zebras are herbivores, which means they eat plant matter technically what you call a pioneer grazer. So that means that they will go in, they'll eat the tougher plants, they'll eat the shrubs, anything that's a little bit on the taller side than a, like a natural grass, for example. So they will actually coppice it down all the way to a, the shortest of the grasses, and that leaves more nutrient-dense uh, foliage for other species to actually come in and eat after them. So as a little bit of a healthcare note, you see the zebra walking around. If you're comparing it to horses, for example, they have, say, for example, regular hoof trims, um, whereas someone will have to come in and trim their hooves for them. The zebras can do that naturally. So that all looks at our substrate. Now that sand serves two purposes. One, it gives them a bit of traction, and two, it helps just to grind the bottom of the hooves down naturally for them. Now, after heavy rains, as everyone knows, sand does move around. So we're always having this constant top up to make sure that the substrate is nice and sort of gritty. So after we've actually put the sand piles in, uh, we do have the zebra that like to sort of move around it. They will dust bathe around it. They'll roll around it. They will also sort of lie up against it. The ostriches enjoy it very much as well because they'll use that as their sort of bathing area. Zebras are social animals, and within this specific setting that we have behind us, they get along very well with the other species. So they like to be playful at times, so they'll follow the giraffe around, they will run after them, they will all run together. Enzi, for example, who's now six months old, uh, she has a very close relationship with the zebras and would actually run around and enjoy their company. It's lovely just to watch them interacting with each other.